Sims here and welcome back to the channel and today I bring to you a tutorial video of how to get rid of bad or unwanted CC. Um, and we're going to be using the new Sims 4 tray importer and I will have the link in the description down below for the website where you can download everything. And I'll show you guys the website in this video as well. But first we're going to go through some basic steps of how to get rid of uh, your CC. So the first thing you want to do, um, and this works in houses and builds as well, um, but I'm going to do this for um, cast because I only have CC and cast. Um, and also a couple of tricks and things that can help you along the way. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to clear off everything your Sims may have on. Accessories, clothes, makeup, lipstick, everything. And you want to do this for every single category. Um, so we're going to go through and just click everything off shoes, socks, everything. You only want, for every outfit, you only want, um, just, you just want your, your default undies. And if that's CC as well, that's fine. I'm going to show you how to avoid that because I do have, um, a different, um, undie that came with, that I downloaded instead of the ones that are defaulted in the game. So we're just going to click off everything. We're going to make sure everything's turned off and be very careful with this because everything, I know it might seem hard, um, but I think it's best if you just go through every single thing. So like the skin detail could have been um, missed um, as well as just going, just rolling your uh, mouse over the icons to see if there's an X and just pressing the X. So um, it doesn't matter what, what category you're in, it's all going to be picked up on the tray. So, um, here we go. So, I am just going to go through and load this sim up with all of my bad or unwanted CC. So, as you see here, I have some skins I've downloaded, and maybe they're not to my liking. I do like them. So, I'm just going to choose a defaulted uh, skin color. Um, so, same thing with tattoos. Maybe there's some tattoos that you've downloaded and you don't like. Um, just load all of that up here. And I'm actually going to do this for myself. So I am going to go through and load up my stuff with some unwanted CC. I don't want it. So I remember I downloaded something like this some time ago. Um, you honestly can put anything you want on your sim. So I am just going to go through and pick all of the stuff that I do not want. For me, I consider bad CC um, stuff that glitches in game or it doesn't have an icon or it doesn't show up. So for me, it's definitely going to be this, there's a dress, it's a couple of dresses I have that actually don't show up. And it could have been I didn't download a mesh or I forgot to do some extra step. But as you can see, these two boxes, um, they don't work. So I'm going to put this on her and then I'm just going to add, I'm just going to add outfits. Um, and I'm going to put that on her, and then the next day she's going to wear that. This is hard. Let's say this dress. Um, say those are the things I don't want anymore. And you can, you can literally, so since those are dresses, you can't add anything on it. But, um, this goes for jewelry. Anything that you can put on this sim that you don't want, you can go ahead and put on it. So say I don't want those, I don't want that anymore. Um... I'm, I'm literally trying to find things that I can get rid of. I think the best thing this comes in handy for is the hair. Because sometimes hairs are edited and they're photoshopped in the icon that we see. But they're not what they turned out to be. So I do have a glitched hair right here. So I'm going to add that. And then I can go to day three. And just add all of the, the unwanted hairs. There's a hair that I downloaded. And it looked great on the model in the picture from where I downloaded it from, but then in game, I, I just said, you know, that's not something that I would really want to put on my sim. Remember, you have as many outfits as you can choose from, so you're not really limited. I mean, you have five outfits for every day, and you can, you can always click the X on these, and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. I'm just going to try to find another hair that I would like to get rid of. I have so many, uh, so much CC that is very similar, so I'm just going to get go through some stuff that I know that can be deleted um, um, and just if you I'm just trying to pick one from each category so to make this easier you can just go through and pick one from each category um, like I don't like icons that show up like this so 
Even if it's good CC, I just don't like the look of stuff like that. So I will delete it. So what you're going to do, and this sim is going to look busted and it's okay. So what you're going to do, you want to save to your library and they're going to tell you to fill in all this crap. And it honestly doesn't matter. Just pick whatever you can. Um, and you can just randomize. Just get it all. Donna Epps. Go ahead, Donna. So all of this stuff that I have on my sim, I do not want anymore. So I'm going to save it, to, and it's going to look busted because, you know, it's bad CC. Save it to your library. Don't upload it. I mean, <laughs> don't upload it. Save it to your library. And once you save it, you're going to go ahead, save your file or whatever, and then you're going to exit out of your game, and we're going to, I'll show you the next step once we're finished. All right, guys, we are back. So, the last thing you did was you saved everything, your sim, your household, to the gallery. Um, you saved it to your library, you uploaded whichever one is best for you. I did want to give you guys the opportunity to see the page. This link is in the description, but it's luniversesims.com. And what you'll do is, it, they tell you exactly how to download it. It's really simple. You just need something to unzip files because it does come in a zipped file. So WinRAR or um, Unzip Me or anything like that will all work for this. Um, and the page is in French. So, I mean, I'm using Google Chrome and I know Google Chrome just translated. But if you right click and translate to English, it will. If you can read in French, yes. So you'll click the download button here, you'll go through the downloads, and eventually you'll get this little icon. Now I already tagged it to my um, taskbar, but you'll get an icon on your desktop or whatever you, of your choosing. So this is our sim. This is the sim that we made. It doesn't, you know, look like a lot, but um, this is how it's going to look when you open it up. So you can see everything that you've done. All of your stuff that's saved to your library, anything that you've downloaded, it's all going to be here. Um, so that's that's also a great tool to have too. Um, this is the most recent thing I did. I actually changed my screenshots um, on here. And if you guys would like to see a tutorial on that, um, I can help you. But x Sims does have a tutorial on how she does hers. Um, I do mine a little differently I use different software and I, I go about it a little bit different so if you guys would like to see my version on it just let me know in the comments below and I will definitely do that for you but back to this we are here so you'll go to the CC tab and what's great about this is this program the sims Tray, um, importer shows you all of the all of the CC that you've used on this sim um, including all outfits everything that you've used so the best thing about this is you can scroll down and you can see everything that you've used. Now, the reason I suggested that your game would be closed for this, your game should be closed if you're planning on deleting the CC right then and there, which I think is a good thing to do. I think if you're, ooh, excuse me, if you're going to clean out your CC, maybe just set some time aside to to get it done versus trying to do it in between gameplay because it, it can mess up your game while you're trying to delete CC during gameplay. So just have your game closed, have all your CC that you wanted um, on your sim and save it to the library. So when you download this, this the sim okay, the Sims 4 Tray Importer already has your account linked to it. I don't know how. I'm not tech savvy. I'm impressed that I'm even doing a tutorial on this. Um, but when I did it, all of my stuff just popped up and it was great. So if it's not linked, I would look into some forums to see how it can be. But it should just be linked because it, it, it links up with your Sims 4 files. So, yes. So here it shows me everything that I've included. Now, one thing I did forget to do, which I said is very easy to do, is I forgot to change her eyes. Because I have defaulted eyes. Um my eyes are listed in here so what I'm going to do what you could do if you if you've been super careful and not missed anything like I have you can literally click the first item hold shift click the last item okay yes and it will highlight everything and you can right click and you'll go to show containing folder and it'll take you to your mods folder everything will be highlighted and you can just press delete and all of that bad CC is gone but because I forgot to 
do some steps. And I also showed you something about my defaulted, um, my undies. These are my defaulted undies right here. And I know them because I, when I, I research them a lot, so I know how they look. But if you don't know, the file should have some kind of, um, some kind of saying like, um, you know, bikini bottom or bikini top. And as this is like, ban it says bikini bando and bikini bottom. So I know I'm not going to highlight those as well as I know I'm not going to delete my eyes. And it looks like I forgot to take off her eyebrows as well. Like I, I, I want to keep those things. So just be super careful. And honestly, I did that on purpose so you guys can see. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do the exact same thing I did. I, I'm going to hit the bottom, hit the top, hold shift in between. And then I'm going to, if you have things you don't want to do, now you can do this separately, but if you want to do it the fast way, that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead, scroll all the way to the top. I don't want the, I know, I forgot to click the afro. Um, these are things I don't want. So I know I'm going to keep my eyes. So I'm just holding shift. I'm holding shift and you click and it will unhighlight it. It should. Okay, yes. So they're unhighlighted. Again, her eyebrow I forgot to do. And I'm going to go down and scroll to my to my um, default undies. And they're not selected. So I would say go through this super careful. See what you don't want. I knew um, there's things. I'm just making sure. So the retexture of hair, all of those things. So everything that I want to keep is in white. So my eyes, my eyebrows, my bando, and my bottom, I'm going to keep. So I'm just going to right click on any blue or um, highlighted item. Right click. And it's going to take you to your mods folder. And as you see at the bottom right here, oh, Lord, y'all see how much that is? Jesus. Um, There's 17 items selected. Now, if you trust yourself, like I'm going to trust right now, you can scroll through and see all this highlight selected areas. But if you're smart and, you know, you don't want to waste time like me, <laughs> you press this delete button. So I just press delete on my keyboard and those CC items are now gone. So that's technically it. That's literally all you have to do is super easy, straightforward to the point. You just have to be careful and it is, it could be a little tedious at times, but if you're really wanting to get rid of CC or clean up your CC bin, this is the best way to do it. Um, another thing is you could just, you could just show your containing folder. So if you see here that my items aren't showing up anymore because I deleted them. But what you could also do is say you don't want to risk anything. You can close out your importer. So we're going to close that out. And then you can delete it separately. So it's it's not logging. It's not saying that. I know I, earlier I have a message that's saying we can't delete your CC because it's open in the importer. So what you would do is you'll just close out the importer and then you'll go here. Now I do want to show you guys something else. I'm going to close out my mods folder. I'm going to go back and open the importer again. I want to show you guys something. So here is my latest build. And in this, lately, when I first started, I started downloading CC in November. So what happened was I went through a CC binge one night. I downloaded all the CC. And all of a sudden, I couldn't upload um, a lot to the gallery without it being labeled as CC. So what I do every time I build and I know I'm going to share it on the gallery is I remove my mods folder from the Sims 4. So I can show you that as well. If I go here, go to my desktops, and I go to Electronic Arts, go to Sims 4, and here's my mods folder, I simply take my mods folder, I'll highlight it, and I'll drag it, and I'll put it on my desktop or something. Um, and that's what I do every single time when I'm, when I'm about to build. So basically, the game recognizes that you don't have mods installed, and I'm able to build, upload, and it's just a single lot. And when I'm ready to go back into gameplay, I put my mods folder back here, in the Sims. So basically, I drag it from my desktop, bring it all the way back over to Documents Electronic like Arts, Sims 4, drop it down. It's very time consuming, it's very annoying, and it's a pest, and I freaking hate it because you do stuff like maybe if you have your mods folder removed and you open the save file on the game that uses mods. So I use cast on every single Sim I make now. So one time, I'll give you an example. When I was doing 
um, the Shot at Love LP, everybody was all created and I had just did the build. And I forgot to load my mods folder back in here. And I opened the save file and everybody was just naked because they didn't have any clothes because technically in the game, all mods were removed. So um, I have to load up a previous file, and I have a file from like October, um, and I have a build file, and I just build all in there. And it's just really annoying. So what I am hoping that I can fix with this, I went to a previous build, and I was wondering what CC was causing my game to, re to say that all of my lots were containing CC. So if I go back to any of the any of the lots that I've built, so I did the converted storefront, We'll just go back to general so you I did the converted storefront and I also did the starter off screen and you can see every time they have these two listed CC these two pieces of CC listed as being in game there's like I can't upload a single lot like I can start I can open a lot it could be completely blank and if I try to upload it to the gallery it'll be listed as having CC on it and it's very annoying so I'm hoping I'm gonna we're gonna go through this together and if it doesn't work it doesn't work but at least we tried this is saying um, that I have some underwear and some lingerie installed which is crazy because it's a build so you know that this is bad CC so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna test this out together I am going to highlight the two I'm going to right click I'm gonna show containing folder I don't care what it is because I want it gone and I'm just gonna delete it and like I said it's saying that I can't do it because the tray is, is open. So what I'll do is I'll just minimize this window, close out the tray, go back to my window, and it says two items selected, which it should be, and I'm going to delete. So then we're going to load the game back up, and we're going to see if it works. All right, guys, so as you can see, I have my mods folder up and installed. I am just going to click play. Um, my load screens are pretty long, so I might have to cut it, but, you know, who cares or whatever. So I'm just going to click on a regular lot and we're going to build on it. We're going to see how it's going to react if those now that those two CC items are deleted. We're going to see if it finally lets me open, finally lets me build with my mods folder in. And if it does, I'm going to be so freaking excited. All right, guys, so we are on the lot, and like I said, normally I'm not able to um, upload to the gallery, so we're just going to test and see if I can just upload a lot. And it's already saying, is it modded? <gasps> it's not modded! It's not modded, so if I upload this... <gasps> oh, guys, I'm so excited! Wait, so if I click this, what does that mean? So now, that's what I normally have. I normally have that it's modded and it's grayed out, so I'm I'm not able to... Am I recording? Oh, I am. Okay. Um, it's not able to be, it's always, this is always great. I'm never able to just unclick it, but now I am. So if I save it, my game doesn't like the gallery, so it takes a while. But if I save it and if I view details, well, not that's not what I meant. If I go here, please don't take forever. I'm recording. Thank you. So if I go here, yeah, it should just, it's not modded anymore. So that's great. I know a lot of people have been having that problem. So I will go through all of that. Why is she in a robe? Oh, because I deleted the CC. That's so cute. <laughs> she says, we don't want to show your goodies. Oh, that's so fun. I hope this was very helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or any troubles or you're confused or you missed some steps and you're lost, please feel free to um, let me know in the comments down below or tweet me on Twitter. Um, all of the info will be at the end of this video. Remember to stay beautiful, stay lovely, and have a grand, grand day. Bye, guys. <laughs>